are you conscious right now? And you'd say, yes. I said, okay, well, you've been looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> Instead of looking at consciousness, you've been stuck in the mind, looking at mind. And through no fault, that's been going on your whole life, as it has been with everybody else. You're not unusual. You're quite the norm, actually. I'm trying to get you to see a different way. A different way. Yeah. And to do that, I've got to point out to you what is it that creates the seeming duality. I have to do that. Mm -hmm. Because that seeming duality, guess what it does? It creates a dualistic character. Mm -hmm. You were born one day and one day you will die. Boom. Mm -hmm. There's your duality. And then there's all the seeming dualistic, dualistic experiences that that character has had all its life. One day it's happy, the next it's sad. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could say to you, yeah, you are not what that mind has been telling you you are. Now, initially this can be difficult. Because we believe, which it's false, but we believe the only instrument we've got is the mind. Mm -hmm. So we go searching, but we try and get greater understanding, greater depth of understanding, more knowledge. Yeah, we think that's the only tool we've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not realizing that there's seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, and consciousness. Those things, if you watch or inquire, those in consciousness, seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, are non-dual. But the mind will even play tricks there and it'll say, it's my consciousness. <laughs> like it's the me's consciousness yeah? or consciousness is in the body. It does that sort of shit. It does that sort of shit, yeah. The body's in consciousness. There's not consciousness in the body. The body is created by consciousness and thought. And it's only seeming. Yeah. You're all right. You're all right. There's nothing wrong. You're okay. Yeah. yeah. We're just... Turning over a few more stones and having a look under that stone and, okay, now let's look under this one. That's all we're doing. We're just looking, yeah? Yeah. yeah? This is about coming to understand what you're not. And it's okay. You can take a moment. Especially when I've been so convinced that I'm a person. <laughs> I'm a person. <laughs> so it's so convincing. It's Especially that... It's like a big, like a feeling of being, like being here. What's so, like a feeling of being? Hang on. What's like um, a feeling of being here? The me. If that's what you meant, that's okay. Just say it. I don't know. It, it, I feel like there's like an awareness of the physical, this skin, this body, this. But also what's sitting here isn't. Indescribable. Isn't or is indescribable. And it keeps flick, flicking, flick, flicking between the two. What creates the like flick? This is important. What creates the flick or the flicking? Mm -hmm. The mind, because it's... Hello, good, that's enough, good. It's not happy. <laughs> the mind <laughs> wouldn't know happiness if it tripped over it. Okay. It can't experience happiness. The mind can't experience anything. It just tells stories. Mm -hmm. It even tells the story, I'm experiencing something, and it can't. But that's the story it tells. Can a thought experience hot, hot water? Can a thought experience 
cold no. water. No. no. Yet it says, no. I feel, blah. It can't feel. What it says is not true. Do you understand? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, he's, he's a good one. I feel depressed. Mm. <laughs> says this. Yeah. Like it mm -hmm. knows what depression is. It can't experience that. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. It takes the story about depression to be the depression. It's a story. Mm -hmm. yeah? It can't, the mind can't experience like a flatness or a, oh, you know, contracted, as you sometimes hear people say, contracted. <laughs> can't experience it. It can't, it just tells a story. It makes up a story and then tells a story about it. Story within story within story within story within story. It's all mind. All, including I'm a person and I'm on this path and I'm a seeker and I've been a good person. I'm, <laughs> it's a story. It's so got nothing to do with, it's got nothing to do with that that is sitting here right now. And he's conscious. I shouldn't even say that that is sitting here right now. This consciousness. It's got nothing to do with this consciousness. You are conscious. Yeah. You don't own consciousness. You are it. Yeah. For you to so arrive it's... there... I've got to convince you of what you're not. I've got to keep does, pointing. Go but does so. consciousness experience, like you only said about, say, the 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 mind labels sadness or whatever. But so does consciousness experience what sadness? Have the experience of sadness, and then the labels come onto that, <laughs> or joy, or whatever. Both made up. Both dualistic. Both made up, part of the story. Both made up. And where does it? I've just got so many questions. Like, where's it grabbing all this stuff from? This these ideas of what depression is, what is sadness, what is joy, what is? It's learnt. What do you mean? Uh, where is it grabbing it from? It's learnt, just like you. Your me started around the age of two. It was learnt. It was put there. You understand, you understand the word conditioning. It was yeah, put there. Yeah, yeah. It was put there. So, so, ex so feelings of sadness, whatever, supposed, what, what it's like, those are put there. Yep. They're a quiet God. Gosh. Look. It's a bit like me sneaking up behind you and pinching you on the back. Yeah. Is there a mm -hmm. sensation? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a sensation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. are, are there sensations that get experienced in the body? Yes. You'd have to be yeah. conscious to experience. You'd have to be alive. You have to be conscious to experience sensations in the body. Yeah. But then yeah. this steps in and makes up a big story about the sensations in the body. Boom. When it's just this, this, this. yeah, God. it's true. You just have to see for yourself. You have to see for yourself. So I do. I go more into self inquiry than with that. So I do I start to. What do I start to do? You start to understand how the mind operates. What it, cre what it seems to create all the time. Yeah. And, under and understand that it's not true. Mm -hmm. It's just not true. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many different teachers you've sat with, but any of them with their pinch of salt, all of them would, would have said... There's no Yvonne there. Mm -hmm. You're not there. Mm -hmm. But something is. 
<laughs> and that's something you've been calling Yvonne your whole life. And that's the error. That that is being sought is already here. You've just been calling it Yvonne, along with all the other stuff about mm -hmm. Yvonne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're, and you're walking around in this body and this consciousness, yeah, and it's this, the mind, that's dictating the Yvonne, how Yvonne is feeling from one moment to the next. And like you got no say in it, right? If you did have say in it, you just go, you know what? No more shitty thoughts. No more sad thoughts. I'm just going to think blissful thoughts now for the rest of my life. If it was that simple, right? You could just do that. Yeah. yeah. So this... This big story that's been going on your whole life has got nothing to do with you. I'm not defining, I want to be careful here, I'm not defining what the you is when I say that. Mm -hmm. But we can both agree, if not now mm -hmm. perhaps, yeah. but we can both agree the me can't hear. Yeah. So I'm not talking to the me, am I? Because yeah. you can hear me. You can yes. hear me. Right. Yes. That's who I'm talking to. You've just been taking this to be Yvonne. And I'm trying to get you to see how the Yvonne was created, mind, yeah, and that this is not that Yvonne. It's not that story. Mm -hmm. Now you need to come to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we do here. Yeah. <laughs> We're just but exploring. Yeah. We're just exploring. It's okay. It would be yeah, that's um. I can I, I can all, almost like see that the mind wants to step in automatically straight away. Yeah, it's quite. Of course, it's quite. Yeah, it's good. Quite, it is consistent. Good, see that you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's an observation, isn't it? Oh, the mind wants to step in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wants to have wants to have an opinion. <laughs> Mind wants to have an opinion based on <laughs> here's the funny thing about that yeah the mind wants to have an opinion based on zero experience zero experience the mind yeah. is not conscious to have an experience you need to be conscious the mind is not conscious mm -hmm. yeah so what the hell is the story based on if not an experience it's based on another story and another story mm -hmm. and another story and another. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I guess some of those stories, as it keeps like layering, it, it's almost like it ingrains and it ingrains and it causes suffering because it really establishes. Patterns. It causes good. It causes seeming suffering. Seeming suffering, yeah. Seeming. Yeah. Yeah. There's no one there to suffer. Yeah. It's only if the if you think if the if you identify yourself as that as the me. And the even then, of... yeah, but even then when that's happening, the suffering is imaginary. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll Draw a distinction between suffering and pain. Yeah. Yeah, because I could pinch you on the back. Someone could pinch me right now and I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> I could feel it. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. difference between experiencing that and suffering. Mind creates the suffering. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Whoa. Oh, that's the suffering. Yeah. All about an apparent me. Mm -hmm. The me is an illusion. Therefore, the suffering about the me is an illusion. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Mm -hmm. Just not true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sit with it. It's all right. You're doing good. Yeah. You're doing good. Don't look. <laughs> don't listen to this, especially when it's getting critical. For God's mm -hmm. sake, don't. Just, it's not about you. It's being critical about itself. And I know that might sound very strange, but that's what's actually happening. It's got nothing to do with you. Please mm -hmm. come to see that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with you. 
that it's having its own little party. <laughs> Correct. Thought. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And you're aware of the party. Yeah. Now, now all I've got to do is get you to see that it's not Yvonne that's aware of the party. Yeah. Yvonne is the party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This that's aware of the party is that that the apparent Yvonne's been looking for. <laughs> mm -hmm. Holy shit. That's why you hear teachers say there's nothing, there's nothing lost, there's nothing to be found. You're here, mm -hmm. right here. It's just mm -hmm. this, you'll hear people say it's just this. <laughs> it's just like you feel like you're just on that on that like cusp and it's it's that next step uh, and again that's a thought that's okay it's like, that's yeah. okay that's okay listen just come to understand what you're not yeah in doing that i hate to couch it this way but i will just in coming to see what you're not, mm -hmm. actual self is self-revealing. It reveals itself. Okay. It doesn't need to be found. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like when I was saying earlier, I was with all this profound understanding I've got, it still feels like Terry's here. <laughs> when I went, oh, well, hold on a minute. What's this? At that point, it was self-revealing. Oh, at that point, it was self-revealing. Holy shit. And then the mind just went bang, collapsed. Wow. For, eight, for, for a long time, relatively speaking, a long time, collapsed. No mind. No mind. Wow. Uh, there, was, there was four seconds of thought over a period of three months. Four seconds. So I got no clue, honestly, what happened over that three month period, apart from four little segments of thought, and each one lasted for about a second. That's it. Boom. And then around the three month mark, mine started to just, just start to slowly come back online again. We need it. We need it. Yeah. We need it. <laughs> like we need to be able to see, otherwise we'd be stumbling around in the dark. The mind is a very useful tool. It's a great tool. It makes mm -hmm. a shit master though. <laughs> it's a great servant. It makes a terrible master. It's terrible. Terrible. It's awful as a master of the mind. The <laughs> shit it says, it says about a seeming me, the shit it says, mm -hmm. you wouldn't hang around somebody. You wouldn't, have a, you wouldn't be friends with somebody that spoke to you the way your own mind speaks to you. <laughs> you wouldn't have a, you would not have a friend like that. You just wouldn't. <laughs> and I'm talking about from my own experience. Yeah. Yeah. I've discovered if it's the same with everyone else. 